Hey, 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 what is going on, people? It is your girl, Miss Straight Talk, no sugar added. I only know how to give it to you straight because if you sweeten it up, it may not even be good for you. It might be good to you, but it's not good for you. So um, thanks for tuning in today for uh, this uh, week's episode of Straight Talk Tuesday, where I just kind of give you a quick little conversation of some things to help put some things into perspective because uh, I am not here to change your mind. I'm only here to offer you another perspective. So today I am talking about familiar distractions. Familiar distractions. It's not something that we really think about, but it came to me the other day. So let's talk about familiar. Familiar is in your comfort zone. You know, you're familiar with how a certain food tastes. You're familiar with, you know, your friends and your family and, and how they react and don't react or respond, don't respond. Just how they are, just what they like and what they don't like. You know, that's familiar. It, it's it's a comfortable place. It's something that you know, something that you really don't have to give a lot of thought to. And then distractions, let's look at a distraction as um, something that will take your attention, your focus, your eyes off of what it is that you're supposed to be doing. There are some days I absolutely enjoy distractions because I really don't want to do what I know that I'm supposed to do. So for 2022, uh, my word for 2022 is consistent. Uh, my goal is to be more consistent at the things that I need to be consistent at. Now, the one thing I am consistent at, I am very consistent at being inconsistent. Now, that's one thing that I, I'm telling you, I am true to form on. But that is one of my goals. And then my phrase for myself this year or my mantra or my whatever you may want to you know, refer to it as is my gift. My gifts will make room for me. You know, I have great gifts. I am I am a great orator. I'm a great, well, I'll say speaker for some of you who don't know what that is. Now, I'm a great speaker. I'm a great trainer. I'm a great coach. Um, you know, I'm they're just things that I'm really good at. And I have this get these gifts. And my goal is to be on stages talking to thousands of people or to do presentations before thousands of people as a paid job. Now, not, you know, not as paid. Um, but my gifts will make room for me. So I don't have to start busting down doors and trying to network with this person and get cozy with that one. It will make room for me. So when you put those two together, familiar distraction, um, it means that you're, you go to a place that's comfortable and this is something that you allow to kind of take you to that place. And then whatever you're supposed to do is just gone. So I'll share a story with how I came to this. So I was, I was talking to someone last week and they were talking about their business and they, they have a great business. They just kind of kicked off. I really love it. I support it. And I asked them about a certain component of their business. And they were like, yeah, I know I need that, but I just don't have time, this, that, and the other, but I'm going to do this first. But, but I knew the component that I was mentioning is critical to what it is that they are starting to do because, you know, that's how you kind of get yourself out there. And so after I concluded the conversation, I immediately started thinking of ideas and how I was going to send, you know, go and research some stuff and send it to this person. And that, and as I started going down this rabbit hole, I realized, no, 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 you're going into a place because what it's doing is I don't mind helping other people realize um, their dreams. That's, you know, that's one of the things I love about coaching because, you know, I love to inspire leaders to do what they're called to do. And I started going down this rabbit hole and I said, oh, no, pump your brakes, girlfriend. You are taking yourself off track. Um, that's not in your wheelhouse at the present time. Now, it may be in the future, but it's not right now because I need to stay on track and stay focused with what it is that I am planning to do. So I want you to ask yourself, you know, what are some of the familiar distractions? And maybe you need to write them down. What are some of the familiar distractions um, that you allow to take you away from what is that you know that you need to do because you don't feel like doing it. We all get that way. We we start Netflix binging. We start HGTV binging. We start, you know, network program. Like, we just binge on stuff because I don't feel like doing it. But we have got to stay charged. We've got to stay motivated. We've got to stay encouraged because there are some things that we want to say that we've accomplished at the end of 2022. And that is one of the things that I desire to say at the end of 2022 I did it. I made this happen. Look where I am. Um, I can't get where I'm where I'm wanting to go by basking and bathing in familiar distractions. So 
I don't know what yours may be. You know, maybe one, two, three, five, 10, 25, 45. I don't know. Write them down. And so when you, when they, when they appear, you'll know what they are and then you'll know how to pull yourself back and say, no, no, I can't do that. If someone asks you to do something and you know you have plans to sit and work on your goals or work on your business or to work on whatever. No, I can't do that today. Can we catch up another time? So that's my little tip for you today. Uh, that's our Straight Talk Tuesday. And uh, as I always say, I am not here to change your mind. I only want to offer you another perspective. So hopefully you gleaned a nugget of a perspective from this conversation today. And please share the video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, comment. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and we can talk about it, you know. So have a great rest of your day, evening, afternoon, whatever time that you're watching this. But do me a favor, share this with at least 10 people. I'll greatly appreciate it. And ask them to subscribe. So take care. It's your girl, Miss Straight Talk, No Sugar Addict, coming at you on this wonderful Tuesday. Take care. Bye-bye.